Hello everyone, my name is Aisha and welcome to my Jamaican Taste Buds Kitchen. Today I have a very delicious meal to prepare for you guys. I will be making my very own Jamaican steamed fish. This recipe is packed with lots of nutrients, lots of ingredients, and also lots of love. Growing up in Jamaica, this dish is one of the most popular dishes and it's enjoyed by Jamaicans all over the world. So stay tuned as I show you how I put the flavor of love into my dishes. Okay guys, so over here I got all my ingredients I need for my Jamaican steamed fish. Over here I got two nice size red snapper. Over here I got some powder seasoning, which includes um, a little bit of salt, some black pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder, paprika, all purpose seasoning and some fish seasoning. So over here, I got the ingredients that I'll be putting in the pot before the other set because these take longer to cook. So right now I got me some onions, I got some scallions, some tomatoes, some garlic. Those are gonna be sauteed first. And then when I make the broth, I'm gonna add the pumpkins, the corn, and then later on I'm gonna add the okra. Jamaicans say okra, but you know it's okra. So I'm gonna add the okra, some carrots, some bell peppers, some chocho, some thyme, uh, scotch bonnet pepper, my potatoes. So over here I have my potatoes in water. So the reason why it's in water, you realize how nice and clean it is so once you cut the potato or any starch that you cut and it's exposed to the air the starch inside will start to oxidize so what happens is that because it's exposed to the air the starch will start to oxidize and this will cause discoloration of your starch and cause it to look brown and you know we eat with our eyes so we don't want that and the last but not least some pumpkin flavored soup mix. Here's the thing guys, I couldn't find the fish flavor and it doesn't make a difference because this is gonna be used to make the broth in order to make my steamed fish. And once you're a good cook, you can adjust. That's how things are. And then later on I'll add my Jamaican water crackers for this steamed fish recipe. Okay guys, so right now, I'm gonna be cleaning my fish under cold running water and I'll be using a whole lime. The lime is gonna cut the rawness from the fish. So whenever I buy my fish guys, I usually try to make sure I check to make sure I'm not getting any fish that's going bad. So what you do, you check the eyes. So you see that glossiness in the eyes? Make sure that's there and make sure that the eyes are not sunken in. Because once the eyes are sunken in, you know that the fish is going bad. You see that glossiness? And another thing too, when you check your fish, make sure that whenever you press on the fish, it bounces back. If you press on the fish and it sinks in like that and doesn't go back, bounce back, you know your fish is going bad. So you gotta check for that guys. So I'm just washing my fish. Another thing too, where I buy my fish, they usually do a good job with scaling the fish. They usually, um, you know, gut the fish. They do a really good job, but I usually still check to make sure that there are no, um, you know, guts and stuff inside. But yeah, they did a pretty good job. Another thing I usually do, guys, I usually check for scales. So what you do is when you check for scales, you take your finger and you kind of like rub the opposite direction and you feel that if you feel anything you know you know that there is scales on the fish but so far they did a really good job they did a really good job on that 
So that's what I'm doing. I'm just checking to make sure that there are no scales on the fish. Well, yeah, they did a really good job. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is just take the paper towel and um, gently pat the fish dry. And then what I'll do now is to just, you know, just put two slits into the fish so then this will actually help to absorb you know that seasoning okay guys now that the fish has been patted dry and um, cleaned up. I'm gonna start seasoning my fish by adding the mixture of seasonings from the outside into those slits. This is how we do it in the Jamaican taste buds kitchen. Season it inside out. So we got our pot on the stove for um, the fish and it's being heated one way to check to see if your pot is actually ready is to just tip some water in and you see the water forming little bubbles and it's gonna fizz out a little at a time that's how you know your pot is ready to go. So now your pot is ready to go. You're gonna put about three tablespoons of oil so you could saute your vegetables. And guys, just remember that um, steam fish is kind of like a versatile recipe. You know, they're like, people make it how they wanna make it. I could make it another way. This is my version of how I'm gonna make it today. I know like probably two or three other ways how to make steamed fish. So this is just one unique way I wanted to share with you guys. All right? So I think I got enough oil in the pot. Guys, and now that your frying pan is ready, you're gonna add the onions, you're gonna add the scallions, you're gonna add the garlic and the tomatoes. Just be careful. Is Remember that the tomatoes spring a lot of water, so you gotta just be careful. This recipe is gonna be delicious, I'm telling you guys. As I said, this is one form of making um, steamed fish. And you're gonna turn the fire on low. Cause you, don't, you want them to saute, but you don't want them to burn at the same time. Well, that's being sauteed. Here's the thing about cooking. If you're a good cook, you become one with your pot. I don't know if that makes sense to you. When you cook, you, you listen to your pot. It's like when you're frying something and you know, you know when it's done. You don't even have to look at the pot without knowing that it's done. For some reason, the sound becomes perfect and you become one with your meal. It's weird, like, I'm telling you guys. Like, you, you, you know, once you, you start cooking, you know what to listen for, to know, okay, I know that this, this chicken is done. 
So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this um, packet of pumpkin noodle into two cups of water because this is gonna help with our broth. Mm, look at that color guys. And then all of this, you can just add it to it. So this broth is what you're gonna use to cook your pumpkin, your corn, you know, all the vegetables that take a little while to cook your potatoes. Okay guys, so I'm gonna cover this up for a little bit and I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Okay guys, so now my broth is boiling. Look at that color guys. Mmm, that smells so divine. So guys, now that the broth is boiling, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just take my vegetables and just add them to the pot. So I'm gonna add the potato, the starch. Just kind of spread them out because... And guys, another thing, the reason why I said, you know, um, before about the water because potatoes it springs a lot of water especially I put it in the water to like to keep the color to retain the the original color so that's why I said just be careful how much water you put this is gonna be a very delicious meal from the Jamaican taste buds kitchen So now I'm gonna just add my pumpkin and then I'm gonna add my corn. So now guys, I'm just gonna let this cook for a little bit. Actually guys, I may have to transfer this into a bigger pot. Let's see. So we're gonna let this come to a boil and let the potatoes the corn and the pumpkin cook for a while okay guys I did have to transfer the vegetables for the fish into a bigger pot because it wasn't big enough so see the potatoes are half done the pumpkin is soft so we add our fish or seasoned fish our okra and we add our chocho then we add our sweet peppers we add our carrots you just kind of spread them all over you add your thyme and you add your pepper okay guys so my steamed fish was cooking and it's all ready to be served the pumpkin is soft but still intact so are the potatoes you know It looks like it's ready to be served. Here's the finished product. One pot meal, Jamaican steamed fish. I got my steamed fish, my crackers, my corn, potatoes, my chocho, my bell peppers, my okra. So guys, time for the taste test. Okay guys, I got this beautiful spread right here. And let me just have a taste for you guys. Mmm. 
As my granny used to say, I saw food for taste. 